Anwar, you know, great to have you with us. Um, what do you make of the recent uh, Bank of Japan uh, stimulus push and uh, the likely implications of that when it comes to uh, uh, you know, liquidity and fund flows? Well, I was pleasantly surprised uh, by the Bank of Japan. This is a great signal for risky assets, uh, but not everywhere. Uh, I would say Asian currencies, uh, especially those uh, closer to Japan, are under pressure uh, because it raises the issue of valuation of those currencies in the context of a weakening yen. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's a great signal for uh, high-yielding uh, local bond markets. So extending the bullish run on EM uh, in that context, really. You know, what I gather from what you're saying out here is that the carry trade, which a lot of market experts are somewhat skeptical at times about, is expected to play out for the emerging markets as well. And that probably could, uh, you know, how, how do you gauge that? Is, is that going to be a little bit of a riskier place to be in? Is it just going to make this entire bull run a little bit more, you know, uh, in the overbought zone? H how does that play out now? Well, we're waiting for the ECB now. So the BHJ has already delivered. Uh, the Fed is uh, still very, I mean, it's still dovish. Uh, whatever uh, investors thought of the recent round of FOMC, uh, from my own perspective, uh, there's no imminent rate hike on the part of the U.S. So you've got the major central banks basically telling us buy emerging markets. We just need the ECB now to really move on to action uh, away from words. Uh, and if that's the case, emerging markets will have a good run of several weeks ahead of us uh, for you know, the local bonds and for EM currencies. Mm. All right, fair enough. In terms of uh, cues that you're watching out for now, Ben, we've got the ECB also meeting later this week. Uh, uh, what are you watching out for now going ahead? Well, the ECB is a key event uh, this week, and then the non farm payroll, uh, always uh, an important data point as well. Uh, people are watching the U.S. data very closely uh, with the hope that it will affect policy making on the part of the Fed. Right now, I'm not too excited about the ECB this week, uh, simply because uh, uh, I'm, you know, I'm struggling to see how uh, they can upscale their, uh, their message. I think we're still going to have a re reassuring message on the part of uh, uh, the, pre the, the president of the ECB, but probably no, more, no further action for now. Uh, so it's more of a wait and see game. You know, Benoit, since we are talking about some of the market cues to watch out for, any thoughts on the Senate elections as well? Because that, that's going to be something that the equity markets, that investors probably will be keeping an eye out for as to how elections really shape up in U.S. and the implications there. So what's your reading about the Senate elections in uh, U.S.? Well, so from, from my perspective, uh, you know, the U.S. is doing well, which is encouraging. It uh, helps uh, boost global growth expectations. Uh, the numbers have been pretty good, but uh, the key message is the Fed is still taking its time to tighten. So that's, that's to me, is the reassuring bit about risky assets, including in emerging markets. India then, Benoit, how, how does that really stack up in your list right now? Because once again, last week itself, Indian markets went ahead and created a record high. Is this clearly one of the best markets currently? Well, India, I've got a lot of uh, positive uh, things to say about India. Uh, first of all, I think the currency uh, is tactically cheap. Um, second, the fundamentals have improved a lot. I run a you know, micro vulnerability indicator, which helps me watch uh, you know, fundamental changes across emerging markets. And India stands out as the most improved uh, country in emerging markets from a fundamental perspective. So this is fantastic news for, for India. All right, just before we let you go, uh, Benoit, any particular strategy that you're looking at when it comes to India in terms of uh, themes that you're perhaps more bullish on than others at this point? I think the local uh, bond market uh, still looks good here. And, uh, I would say uh, from, from the big picture standpoint, fixed income uh, in EM 
is well positioned tactically and that would include uh, India.